Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We are joined, as always, by ST Hedgehog. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And what are you up to today? Uh, I am going to build sulfuric acid. Well, I'm going to make sulfuric acid. Go that way. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can start mining uranium, because we need that. Okay. Um, Sounds good to me. How about you? Are you, are you planning something up there? Yeah, I am going... Scheming. I am scheming to make um, <laughs> copper cables. Cool. Uh, and a lot of them. Because we're going to need a heck of a lot of them. And I'm going to leave a lot of space as well for expansions. Because I'm not sure that what I'm building for is going to be enough. Stop blowing owls in my trees. What? Sorry? Stop blowing holes in my trees. No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm gonna find a tree. In. Uh, <laughs> there have been some changes between episodes because uh, I couldn't help myself. Jumped on to start planning more rails and things out, and uh, had to make a few changes. You'll see these loops at the end of some of our dead ends here because I found trains were having to take a really long long distance to try and find a loop and come back again so yeah i put in a couple of loops in places uh, to get them to move around uh you'll notice all the fuel stops for trains they're all named the same and turned off uh that's because there is logic applied to them now. Uh, basically if this chest of coal has more than 500 coal in it it turns the station off oh cool so the fuel train which is now has its own pickup here uh, can basically sit here until the station goes, hey, I need fuel, and then it will go to that station and then come back and sit here again. That is very so, cool. So you, you only have to have one name station. Because if you have them all named the same and don't have them disabled, then the, the train will just go to the same, the closest one over and over and over. Mm -hmm. So I think that will work, I hope. I'm, where, where, where is there a fuel right. station? Uh, if you bring the map oh. up, you can see them, they're red. Oh, there red uh, there's four of them so far they're yeah. all turned off because they've all filled up oh that we is really cool. the copper plate we didn't want the copper plate though there's no oh there's no uh fuel stop there oh, that's true oh Probably we can need. we can make one it's not a big problem there's yeah, space yeah. for it Top can be Come well on. Go down the bottom and out. What was it we were talking about at all the pickups or all the drop offs we wanted uh, fuel? All the drop offs, mm. right? I think all the drop offs. Even though I have uh, fuel at the iron plate. Oh, no, no, you want it at, at all the pickups, don't you? But with the exception of the ore. Because it's really awkward to put fuel at every all, all station we have. Yeah, that's true. So so you'd want it at every pickup, you want a fuel stop, really. That would be ideal. Because that's where the train's going to spend most of the time loading, isn't it, really? Yeah. Because uh, there's weights there to full cargo. And then with the exception of the iron ore, copper ore, and I suppose uranium ore, whatever, the ore drop-offs and every other pickup. Yeah. The idea, I think. Yeah should work but you um, yeah. Uh... yeah that's fine money yeah i've got one here that's actually filling up a a, a train uh as a drop off but that's because i've got to make the belt pass pass it to get to another a, a pickup so i thought i might as well that would... okay but other than that, yeah, I think I think it should be at every pickup. Yeah. Just... Right. Okie dokie. So with that being said, let me figure out how the hell I'm going to make sulfuric acid. Don't want to do that. Make the acid of sulfuric. I need iron plates, sulfur, which I have, and water. Uh, there is an abundance of in a lake. Mm. No, 
This is, of course, all going to be upgraded to blue at some point, and before that red, but for now, it seems that one blue belt can handle nine yellow assemblers, and that's what I'm building for. So we'll have output here. Yellow assemblers? Aren't they yellow? Are they green, or what are they? The, the tier three ones. I don't know. You're right. You're right. I don't know. I don't. We're nowhere near again. They might be yellow. I'm, 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 I think they're yellow. I'm unaware of this. There is um, a tier three one that requires. Um, uh, Lubricant to build, I think. Copy that. So that's nine. And I basically decided that I want four of these. For now, at least. That's 10,000 copper cable, and that's not going to be enough. Actually, I want eight. Don't I? I want eight. Whoops. And then we can do another one. This one actually only needs to go there. Nope, it needs to go all the way. And I don't know how much sulfuric acid actually needs, but do that. Then I can bring iron down. Do like that. Let's actually bring it to there just for neatness sake for now. Like that. And then we need the inserters. And I think we might need more than one inserter for the either the input or the output. Hmm. It was a very decisive hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it was supposed to be an indecisive one. <laughs> because I'm very indecisive right now. Oh. Okay. Um, that's... Uh, tell this to make... Copper cable... Didn't I just tell you to make top cable? Yeah, I did. Why are you not showing that? There. My alt was off. Okay. That one too. For now, we are going to copy this. Uh, no, no, no. Now, is this where I want it, though? That's a good question. 
Let's just make a blueprint of it. Mm. This is five thousand copper cable a minute. Once it's upgraded. Of course. All right, so that's blueprinted. Let's uh, deconstruct it because it's going to be in the way of. Hopefully, I did blueprint it right. Crap! Did I forget to create the blueprint? It should be in your inventory anyway. Not. No, what do you do? That's a good question. Is it in my uh, blueprint library? No. Dang it. Didn't make the blueprint because my inventory was full, I think. Oh. Ah, crap. Okay, never mind. Mistakes. Mistakes were made. <laughs> yes, they most certainly were. Uh, right, we need something in here. Definitely need some parking. I'm gonna make this train. But this really parking is wrong, so we'll delete that. And we will go and grab a blueprint from a parking that's right. Like this one. Blueprint. Seven. Oh. One second. That. Oh. 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 We'll do parking. And that's fine. Enter. Create blueprint. And we'll stick the blueprint in here for now. That's not going to work. Now, how do we want to do this? Um, so, if we grab that parking... Uh, which way is in and which way is out? The... Chains are out. So if we did, we're driving right handed. So if we did something like that, I think it's going to work. I don't think they, they can up. That right. would work. Move it up to. Then where are the train stations going to be? A tree! A tree grew right in front of me. <laughs> See, I told you they were evil. I was happy for the tree to grow right in front of me. Good. Um, I, you were... I want to unload the train. They'll probably do one. If we do this, uh, I might have to put that out more than so. Just put it Extend. something like there. Then Double it up. We could I don't do... think my, my sulfur build's going to work. Why not? Because I, I, I didn't realize it takes one second. One second to do what? Do sulfur. Sulfuric acid. It takes a second to produce one of sulfuric acid? It takes, yeah, uh. 50 sulfuric acid takes one second, but it requires five sulfur, so I need to feed five sulfur and one iron plate in, in one second. Mm hmm. 
and I was going to use long-handed inserters for it. They're not going to do that. No, then you'd need two for sure. I mean, I could just put in loads of work, but I don't know whether that's worth it. <clears throat> I could do. Mm. Oh. All right. Let's get those rail in there, guys. Okay. okay. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Man, I wish our worker robots were faster. <laughs> okay. Um, right, scrap that. Scrap that plan straight away. Grab. Um, I need to apply this. With, I need to supply this with way more sulfur than I had planned. <laughs> okay. That doesn't sound too good. I, I, I still want to build it so that I can um, expand it if required. Mm hmm. But, <clears throat> um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I need to build it so that I can expand it. So it needs a, it needs a complete redesign. Complete redesign. That's no good. Nope. It's bad. Bad. And we'll build Fact. the rail stations up here, which means blowing up some more trees. Which I am not no, opposed no, to doing. No, you can't build a rail station up there if you need to block trees. Yeah. There, there's going to be a, uh, a convention or something happening, which is... Yeah, well. Gonna... They can there's convention gonna be... all they want. I'm still going to blow them up. There's going to be tree rights. I'll blow them up while they sit in their convention the, then. The the Geneva Convention for Trees. Hmm. Something. Which ended due to hand grenade. To empty his chest. That's what I want to do. Okay. Am, am I? Am I? Do I feel like I'm doing the wrong? No, I'm not. I'm not doing. I mean, I mean, this station is not going to be very space efficient, but we kind of come to the, this, the decision that space is not a problem, right? Not really. No. Because we can just explore more map. more biters and then more space yes yeah, sp space is definitely not yeah so that's gonna be right, so so for... I think I'm gonna start by just building one single train station for the plate drop-off because... Go away. Get two copper cables. For one plate. Uh, so maybe do two <laughs> plate stops. We'll turn into eight. No, one plate stop. One plate stop. Uh, Maybe are we doing empty cargo or we? No, no, that's that. That's four pickup stops. I don't need four pickup stops. I need one. Okay, so here's the question. Um, 
for our drop-offs in places. Mm -hmm. Um, like I've I've got a sulfuric acid drop, a, a, a sulfur sulfur drop off. Yeah, and I've got an iron plate drop off, stuff like that. Are we still going to do the whole uh, like name them individually? So this train is designed for that one, or are we going to go down the route of um, just naming them all iron plate drop off and then disabling them when they're full? That's a good question. Because I don't know which way. I, I think if we do that, then we might run into a problem that we'll have like three trains sitting there waiting to drop off because they didn't know that the stop was full when they went there. Does that make sense? That's a possibility. I hadn't thought of that. I don't know how they... Well, imagine if the train's disabled, in their, their train station system, they just move to the next one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So providing everywhere that has a drop-off, we would have to redesign a little bit. Everywhere that has a drop-off has a, another free path that just, trains can just get out. Then, Although they can drive past stops, can't they? If there's, if there's no train in the stop, they just drive past it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, so if there was a train unloading and it all all of a sudden turns off because hey, I'm full now, the then, train would leave. Then that train would leave, and so would the others. Yeah, because I'm just wondering if that would make more sense. So, like, I've got a sulfuric acid plate drop off, and you've got uh, gears iron plate drop off. They're all iron plate. And you've yeah. got four trains at the stop doing nothing. Yeah. Because that's full, and I might require more down here. Let's so, try it. I think that could be an interesting way of doing it. Give it give, give it a try. Yeah. Okie dokie. I have to do some logic. I still haven't figured out how to do this whole pick up and drop off thing. Plus, I need to come back to the base anyway, because I need uh, I, I, the other stuff. The hard mm -hmm. right. The... Uh, the harder iron? The steel, you mean? Steel. <laughs> <laughs> I need hard iron. Yes. It is. Steel is hard iron. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I just... It's like, what, what's it called? It's called hard iron. What's it? Oh, uh, 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 damn it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... So if I was to rename this to just Iron Plate Drop Off, tip. Color does not matter. Uh, Those are all going the wrong way, though. Mm. It's annoying you haven't got, like, one giant... Because you'd have to do it off one chest, and then it's... Possible the other ones would be empty. Unless you... Links test get that would go the wrong way as well. That would go the wrong way. And don't we have one that goes the right way? Mm. I don't think we do. No, we don't. All righty then. We will. The system's not going to be perfect for doing this. Uh, I only stretch the image. Okay. Because uh, it's got to basically read the first chest, the closest chest to the stop. Mm hmm. So if that chest is full and all the rest are empty, then it will turn the station off. Ah. But that shouldn't be a bad thing anyway, because they should unload relatively even. Or what I've noticed is that the chests on the outside, the ends of the runs, empty yep. first. And I'm going to use one of the ones on the empty there. So that, that should be okay. Let's 
my steel chest because I need You need hard iron. Hard. Um, I also no longer need this here. I've gone off on one. I'm not building what I was actually going to build. I've gone off on one because I think this is this this is this is my problem. I tend to see something new and be like, "Oh, shiny!" <laughs> Look, ball. Rather than um, yeah, I oh, like a squirrel. Yeah. Uh, uh, rather than um, actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It does mean I can move that fuel stuff, but I'll do that. Whatever. Um. I, I will do that. I will I will I will try and look at the stations there of iron drop offs and stuff like that. But maybe that's something I need to experiment a little bit with off camera. Mm hmm Because I don't know if it's gonna work and it involves me running around a lot, so if we do one drop off then we could actually do the pickups up here. I wonder if that's a good idea, though. We need four pickups for one drop off, I think. No, no, that can't be right. We have to need two pickups for one drop off, so we need two pickups. Pick up all the sculpture. I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Um, hmm. So, oh. quickly, hold on. Right. Mm. So, one iron plate. So the iron plate isn't important. The iron plate can run. So, can the how how high does the wire stack? I wonder. How high does the wire stack? Yeah, so plates stack in a hundred. Do the wires stack in a hundred, or do they stack in four hundred, or do they stack in two hundred? I don't know, or... and I don't think there's any way to find out on the tool. No, not other than trying making a bunch of wires. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I I gonna go with a hundred because most everything stacks at a hundred. Some stack at twenty. Yeah. And then bullets stack at two hundred. What? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Power poles and inserters and stuff stack at fifty. Oh yeah, just to be all. They would. Chest stack at 15. Right, I'm gonna try and make some. I have enough copper on me to make to 100. So let's try making 101. Or something <gasps> like that. And see if they stack higher. That. Water in the back. They You're definitely go higher than a hundred. Cool. That's where the iron's coming. This is gonna fit. Awesome. Okay. My plan. Two hundred. They stack in two hundreds. Stupidly inefficient way of doing things for unloading, loading, whatever. Okay, so they stack in 200. Well, and one plate makes two of them. 
so that means that I need yeah four in in one in four out. I feel like I am horribly bad at creating train stops. Uh, okay. I, I feel like I'm I'm doing that whole. Oh, I don't need as much space as this. It's fine. Yeah. And, uh, and then it turns out that then, you do. Then discovering that I more space yeah so all right so if we did whoa lag very laggy oh nope. you can no longer train friend Okay. And we need the same over on this side. And we need some inserters for them. Two right side. Right side. Okay. And that should rinse and repeat. I haven't got enough chemical plants for that. Oh, oh I didn't also did. Two more chemical plants. Now, unfortunately, I don't have drop off. We also don't have any more time. We don't. We're out of time. Damn it! And I, I built something and destroyed it, and they built it again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, that's how Factorial works. Yes, indeed. Right. So, yeah. I suppose we'll have to leave it there, won't we? Yeah, we will. We will. Cool. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have fun. Mm -hmm.